Hello, book nerds and book addicts. And this is your friend Paper Nerd. And I'm coming with you today with something I promised in the last video. Remember my author feud video? Ooh, DNF video. Ooh, remember what I said at the end of that video that I will, well, that I actually discovered this author new to me and I really love this guy. First off, he's writing novellas. Second off, they're all kind of spooky. And the third thing I want to say about this whole author's kind of writing is you think you know what you're getting into. Any of his novellas you're picking up. So you think you know, you, you know exactly what you're getting into in this spooky story. But then most of those stories have an open end. So it is up to your mind what you think happened. And that is just the spookiest thing. This is spookier than all of those, you know, slasher novels, which I really don't like anyways. Lots of blood and all this. Or ghost, ooh, spooky, spooky. No. I think that author understands how open the human mind is if you know a story with an open end and you don't know what's happening but you think you know what's happening but you never know that uncertainty there I think that's driving you crazy and what better stories could you have than stories like this in this nice fall of 2021 right so the author I'm talking about is called um, Keelan Patrick Burke. Did I say that right? No, Keelan. Keelan Patrick Burke. Um, I'm going to make this probably a two-part series because I just read a whole bunch of novellas from him and uh, so they are not all fitting in one video so uh, let's just start with uh, start with one you might have heard of because everybody was talking about that a while back and that is his novella Blanky yes like a blanket Blanky so in this novella we get to know this father who lost a baby with his wife and his wife um I mean, they both are really, really um, sad and and uh, they are in mourning and uh, his wife is moving out of their house and is moving to the parents and it seems to drive the sky just crazy, the, the grief, the pain. And so one day he hears something upstairs in the baby's room and he goes upstairs and the baby that is after the baby has has passed away for a few months now and uh, so he he hears something up there in the room and uh, he opens up the room and the room is all cleared out and most of the stuff which is not you know all the furniture is gone but uh, most of the other stuff of the child is in the closet so he wonders why in the middle of the floor there's the baby blankets the 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 baby's actual blanket uh, it just lays there and after a while that blanket it seems like the blanket ha has its own mind it can move by itself and uh, so he calls his wife who is like I said at her parents uh, living there for a while uh, grieving by herself and so he calls her up and he shows her the blanket and she's coming over and you know for a little while there it seems like they are getting back together and they are still very much in love um, but just really grieving about their lost child and uh, just when it, you know, day by day, it get, gets a little better. I mean, she's not moving back, but they spend a lot of time together. They have their, you know, their marriage things going on. That's all I'm going to say. But um, 
one night uh, his wife calls him and um, not calls him she kind of like whatsapp him so that he sees what she's doing and he's seeing that she has that baby blanket and uh, she well the baby blanket pretty much suffocates her and from there on just stuff happens um, the guy is exploring where his wife had the baby blanket from and what is going on there and all I can say is at the end you just don't know really what happens but you do know what happens and the rest of the story is playing in your head so and that's what I'm saying that is the ultimate spooky kind of story um, I'm going with another one here a really short one I like to uh, that one was called offline also by Keelan Patrick Burke I like that one as well uh, that is more like a real like super modern <laughs> story because it goes over the computer it's just pretty much uh, you know DMs direct messages uh, about two teenagers messaging with another and are they teenagers we don't know but we'll find out but while they are going back and forth and back and forth and uh, talking with each other one of the teenagers gets sick not just that teenager but around her other teenagers are getting sick and it's very very weird and then teenagers start dying so that is a book I would also pick up because this was pretty good and that's all I'm saying so if you want to have a grand old spooky time uh, nice fall time there uh, go ahead and pick yourself up those two novellas the one is called Blanky and the other one is called Offline by Keelan Patrick Burke you all have a wonderful oh you know what I forgot to star them <laughs> um, I would say uh, Blanky I would give uh, probably a five star and offline I would do exactly the same because I really like those two little novellas so there you go you have two five-star novellas by Keenan Patrick Burke go ahead get yourself a copy or better get a copy of each of them so get two copies have a wonderful rest of your day week month year whatever the year is almost over uh, we are on our way there already. So anyways, I talk to you some other time. Goodbye.